In this video, I'm going to tear down a Fiat 7.5 watt LED that I've had in service now for over a year and I've had no issues with it. So I got it to, given to me to tear down and I'm finally getting around to doing it. Let's take a look at it. So in this video, I'm going to look at a Fiat electric. This is an LED bulb and it's supposed to be uh, equivalent of a 60 watt bulb. And uh, we're going to take a look at this one and see if I can open this up and see how it's made. Let's uh, try it out first of all and see how well it works with the dimmer and so forth. So here's the bulb lit. It appears that this one's got LEDs facing around the side because it seems to have, um, I don't know if it shows up well on camera, but there are certainly hot spots, like where my fingers are here, are hotter than they are on other portions of the light. It's a 7.3 watt, and they claim 485 lumens is what uh, this one puts out. Let's uh, pop it open and uh, take a look what's inside this one. Oh, first of all, can we dim it? Will it dim? Well, let's try it. As you can see, this bulb is a dimmable bulb. It dims quite nicely. Okay, let's uh, turn off the power here. Let's uh, crack this one open. Oh, and I'll, by comparison, if I compare it to one of these non-dimming bulbs, well, we saw what happened before. Nothing happens, and then it goes out completely. Okay, so let's uh, see if we can get this one open. So I wonder if I can pop this open here. We'll try. It looks like there's a ridge on here that it's... Yeah, that's what it is. This has got a ridge on it that is popped into a groove around the light itself. And I should be able to, if I pry it enough, I should be able to break this, the bond and get the, the, the bulb open. So that's what they've done on this one. This one actually is glued into a little ridge. It's all the way around the bulb itself. Okay, there we go. Besides gluing it, they actually have a, uh, there's a plastic ridge around here. As you can see, this light has, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We've got nine light dies in here. We've got uh, six of them around the outside and three facing straight up. So we power this one up. And there are lights. It's actually kind of a, a cool way of doing it. I, I knew I could see, I knew I could see um, hot spots, but that's what they've done on here. This one here, they've got. Here's our. This one's just probably a standard. Um, I would say a regulator. I think we probably. I can't see now. We've got, but we've got three wires coming up from. Oh, interesting. We got four wires coming up from the base here. So, there's going to be some circuitry underneath here. I, I was thinking at first that it just had, had a common regulator on here, but um, that it's more than that because we've got four wires coming up from the base. We've got a positive and negative, and I don't know what these wires are. They're two black wires. But they, they must be involved somehow with the ability to dim. If we take out these screws, I wonder what we'll see underneath here. It's probably not enough uh, lead length to take this out, but we'll see. No. Yeah, 
I'm not going to be able to take that out and without without uh, unsoldering the wires. And I don't really want to go that far on this because, as I say, this light is one that I use. It was uh, sent to me as a sample to test it. And I never have gotten around to doing a video on it as of yet until today. So this one's been in service now for about a year, I would say. I've had this one in service. And so far, it seems to be a pretty good light. I have it outside, but it's not where it's exposed to the weather. But that's the, uh, the bulb here when it's on. Right? It diffuses the light quite nicely. If I dim this down, it's going to unplug the plasma TV that's plugged into my Variac here. I don't want to start dropping the voltage down on that. But as you can see, as I dim this down, the LEDs do dim down very linearly. And now we can actually see that there are four in each of the of the camera, how well the camera picks this up, but if I zoom it in, we might be able to see this with the camera focus. Probably not. But each of there, now you can see it. Now it works. You can see that there's four light dyes in each of, or four diodes, I should say, in each of these side firing LEDs. Each one of those has four. And the other ones here have more. These ones have got four, five, six, seven. Each one of those has seven individual little diodes, junctions. I wonder if I can get the camera to focus on it there. If I get close, the camera might focus on that. But there you go. You can see the seven. So uh, we can put the meter on here. We can measure our voltages here. Just see what they're exactly what they're doing with these four wires. See whether they're. Uh, dropping the voltage down there. Obviously they're dropping the voltage in some way, but let's measure. Hmm. I'll measure between the red and the uh, the black and just see what type of voltages we have here with the light dimmed down. Looks like there's nine volts. There's 115 volts DC, wow, across these terminals. So even even at the at the dim setting like that, between the the white wire and the red wire, there's a negative 115 volts. Between the black wire and the red wire, there's zero. Looks like. Between the other wire and the red, there's nine volts. So it's interesting. It's like it's like the it's like the red wire is not a uh, a positive lead so we'll just put the we'll put the red wire or put the red probe on the one that's marked plus and now we can measure it's 105 volts difference across these two 115 volts difference across those two 115 volts and that's with the lamp dimmed down if i dim it down even to that point let's just see what our voltage reading here is Still got 111 volts with the with the bulb almost completely out. The bulb is now barely glowing, and we still have 108 volts. What does this thing have if I turn this thing up to full brightness? So now we're at full brightness, and I can't even see what the hell I'm doing in here. Hundred and forty-five volts. Holy smoke! Hundred and thirty-eight volts. 129 volts. So inside this unit here, the power supply is stepping up the voltage and all these LEDs are obviously connected in series with each other. I would say that the IC that's on here, this is just going to be a constant current driver to maintain the current to the volt to the, each of the LEDs regardless of the incoming voltage. Anyway, interesting, I did not expect to see that type of voltage 
in one of these LEDs, and that's DC volts. That was kind of an interesting experiment. Anyway, I'm going to put this one back together because I'm going to put this light in service and see how much I reduced its life by breaking the seal. Maybe I'd be better to put some silicone on there and reseal this up because it's going back inside, but nah, it, should be, it should be okay. Anyway, I thought you guys might think this one was kind of cool. I haven't opened one of these up before. Now you've seen them. We've seen these ones. This is the, uh, the luminous bulb. And, uh, oh, this one's not the Walmart special. Sorry, the Walmart special just fed line uh, voltage to the... Uh, right to the die. This one actually has a power supply on it. This was the Luminous. But this was the one that had the, I think this one had six, six LEDs on it. Anyway. There it is. That's a Fiat Electric. Seven, was it seven and a half watt? 7.3 watt LED. This one has been good so far. I've had this one in service now for, for over a year and I haven't had any issues with this one. We'll catch you in the next one soon.